Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about resin farming. And I know probably you have seen this before already, alright, where other YouTubers might have said that once you reach AR45, that's the trap so-called. And you should only be farming resin at AR45, alright. So if you guys follow my live stream, I'm not sure how many of you guys do, but yeah, if you want to, you can always, you know, turn on the notification, subscribe to the channel, so that way you get notified whenever I go live stream. But I do live stream on YouTube every week, at least three times a week. So this is what I have currently in terms of my artifacts. And you might look at this, wow, there's a lot of artifacts, right? It's not. Most of these are trash. <laughs> artifacts fam farming is the real cancer. Alright, I'm actually glad they introduced the condensed resin feature. So that way you can actually craft condensed resin and try to do it instead of doing every single run. It multiplies, it makes it every it makes everything double the speed, right? So you are putting less effort into getting double the amount of resources or artifacts in return. So one important thing, one important key thing that we're gonna need to talk about is the fragile resin. Okay, so this particular thing is very, very important. Now, Fragile Resin is something that you get occasionally for free, okay, throughout when you rank up in Avenger ranks, in events. Now, back then, when I reached AR45, alright, before the Ascension World level, I was, I have like 53 of this, okay? I did use a little bit here and there. Before AR45, I got tricked <laughs> into believing that, okay, that is the, the better way to use it. So ideally, now fragile resins are limited, all right? They are not unlimited, okay? You don't have infinite fragile resins, okay? So, and the best way to get them for free to play, that is, if you are a whale, I think there's a way to buy them, I'm not entirely sure. But most of the time, you will be getting them on every single ascension level. So if you go to your claim adventure rank rewards, all right? So throughout from every single one, every single time you go to a higher rank, you can see you get two of these, you get two of these, you get two of these, right? So this is the best way for you to get your Fragile Resin, by just ranking up, by just playing the game, doing commissions, ETC, right? So by default, you should be getting around 50 plus, if you don't really use them at all, you should be getting around 50 to 60 plus when you reach AR45. My initial thought was like, I don't see, there are some players out there who thinks spamming this early on, is going to be good, right? Because you actually get to AR45 faster. So by using more of this early on, you actually push your progress to reach AR45 faster. And that way you can benefit from farming artifacts. By the way, if you guys are not aware why you need to reach AR45, because once you reach AR45, it's guaranteed every single run will give you a yellow artifact drop, which is the highest rarity. Okay, so you will be guaranteed to get one of these at AR45. Alright, so you see all of these uh, yellow or orange drops. You'll be guaranteed to get at least one. Okay, if you do condensed resin, you will get two, which is pretty cool, right? So at AR40 to 44, I farm artifacts for a little bit. Guess what? The chance of this dropping is like 30% from what I heard. I did 5 runs, I got nothing. I decided, okay, I'm not going to farm artifacts from 40 to 45, I'm just going to wait for 45, and I'm glad I did. But then, the next layer of the cancer just appears. Alright, now you have to worry about getting the right substat. That is the hardest thing, okay? So you occasionally will get things like HP, energy recharge, or you can't get what you want, ideally. It's so difficult, like look at this, defense percent, extremely, extremely triggering. So yes, uh, usually for me, I do play a lot of gacha games and I do think that gacha games, when you managing your resources, is going to determine how good you are as a player. Like if you can manage your fragile resin, not waste them until the certain key point in, in this game's case, in Genshin Impact's case, it's AR45, then it's going to give your account an advantage over other players. Alright, so that's something that I've always thought to myself. Alright, so I want to advise players on only using Fraser Resin if you are AR45 and above. But then again, there are also some players 
that thinks that okay this is a pve only game come on it's a pve only game do you need to care about resource management just use whatever you want right you're not competing with other players doesn't matter if you get there slower or get there faster or if you have the perfect artifacts slower than everyone else as long as you're progressing in your own account which is also true right if you think about it that way yeah it's true you're not competing against other players there's no pvp in this game there's no need for you to to min max it to the maximum potential but there's always going to be some players out there who would prefer to min max their account to get the best out of what they can like for me for example because i only have one account right some players are willing to make multiple accounts and yeah therefore you will have it's just fine if one account is like ruined you will have two or three more accounts i get it but yeah uh different perspective from that point onwards but i'm going to show you why i think not wasting this thing before ar45 is important you might think okay you have 40 to 50 of it that's a lot it's not a lot farming artifacts is truly cancerous from i think about 53 fragile resins to 29 i think i only got like one to two good artifacts the rest are all trash like it's not even funny it's not even funny all right so let me show you guys Let's go. Time for some toxic. Bloodstain final hour pork. Alright, this one will be good. This one will be good. Look at this. This is going to be the best one ever. Look at this. Attack energy recharge. Crit red. Huh. The defense is a bit triggering, but... Alright, let's go. Attack! Yes! Ah. Oh. Defense and flat HP? Really? Oof. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Gambler, Hawk, Scholar's Clock, Royal. Okay, first up, I'm going to compare this new bloody watch with the one that I have. This one is attack percent. If this doesn't have attack percent, it's not better. Energy recharge, defense, HP, HP. Of course. Of course, you get, you get all of this. All of these things that you don't want. Defense, HP, and HP. Alright. I don't really need feather, but let's see. Elemental master Defense per se. I'm done. Unless you are willing to whale. <laughs> uh, you know, can end up spending thousands. Okay, there's no 5 star for for the blood stain. Shut up, Klee. Uh, how about this? Def- <laughs> It has to be defense. I saw the crit damage, I was like, oh! Then I saw this defense. Will I finally get some good stuff in my life? Lava Walker Pork. I already got a very good one, which is... Okay, this one has energy recharge, crit damage, and defense. This one has energy recharge, crit damage, and defense. Wait, wait a second. Defense. Defense. Energy recharge. Same, but this one has 19, this one has 16, hmm, okay, HP percent, no thanks, ah, oh, come on, when I get attack, it has to be flat, is it impossible to get attack percent here, like what, I almost never get attack percent, let's go, cancel time, bloodstain stuff, Crit rate, crit damage, pop! Wait. Never mind. I'm hype! Let's go, condensed resin! Give me all the good ones! Okay, I got defense last time. And I got HP. And I got defense again. Please give me something for once! Can I get something that's not defense and HP? What's wrong with you? H! <laughs> Alright, this, this cup is shit, man. What's wrong with this cup? Alright, let's go. Alright, this one is Geo Damage Bonus, which sucks for me. I don't need Geo Damage Bonus. I'm not going to whip Noel. I don't care about this. Electro Damage Bonus. This one is good. This one is good. But look at this. Flat HP, flat defense, defense. Like, what R garbage is this, right? HP. HP. HP again. Royal, Royal, Royal. Bloodstained pork. Okay, this one is energy recharge. A bit triggering. 
This one is defense. Also a bit triggering, not gonna lie. Elemental mastery, sort of triggering. HP! Attack! Finally! Finally I got attack. But defense though. The defense subs that. Please start attack percent right now. Type in the chat, attack percent. All of you. Let's go. Okay, I'll take that last. Bloodstained flower of iron. Attack percent! Yo, this is actually good! Cryo damage bonus. Defense percent. Defense. Crit damage. Energy recharge. No attack percent. Thunders. Okay, the goblet is really scary. I know goblet is quite hard to get a good one off, right? Alright. Hydro damage bonus for a thunder set. Okay. Crit rate, defense percent and defense flat. Three yellow. Wow. Three yellow. Royal plum. Royal musk. Bloodstained flower of iron. HP, HP, defense. No thanks. If I can get better than this, just give me attack percent and crit rate percent. Attack percent! Huh. Defense flat though. Defense percent. HP percent! Of course. Of course. 